research on the link between demographics and the economy shows that when a country's population changes, the economy changes with it, especially when women start having fewer children. Reduced fertility rates can have benefits for a nation's economy by starting what is known as a demographic dividend. This is when a decline in a country's fertility rate changes the age structure of the population. This shift, accompanied by the right social and economic policies and investments, opens a window of opportunity for rapid economic growth. Data from the National Transfer Accounts Project can be used to show how changing age structure can impact economic development. Let's start by looking at two countries that are at different stages of population transition, Thailand and Ethiopia. Thailand has already had a major decline in fertility, from 5.6 children per woman in 1970 to 2.1 children by 1990. Ethiopia is at the beginning of this population transition. Fertility rates have dropped since 2000 when they were 5.9 children per woman to current rates of 4.1 children per woman. Fertility is projected to drop further over the next 50 years. Population pyramids show what happened to Thailand's age structure when the fertility rate dropped. In 1950, when fertility rates were higher, a greater proportion of the population was young. But as women had fewer children, the percent of the population that was young fell, creating a higher proportion of working age people. In Ethiopia, a similar shift is expected to happen. The projected age structure for 2050 looks remarkably different. The National Transfer Accounts data measure how labor, income, and consumption differ across age groups. Here, consumption includes services provided by the government. Using normalized or relative values, we can compare levels across countries. For both nations, an individual's income peaks between the ages of about 35 and 50. Children and the elderly consume more than they make. The working adults who make more than they consume support the rest of the population and are the drivers of economic growth. By taking the NTA data and multiplying it by the number of people in each age group, we can see the total amount of income and consumption in a population by age. In 1950 Thailand, when there was a higher proportion of people under age 15, the total consumption by these young people exceeded income by working adults. By 2000, when Thailand had a higher percentage of working age adults, we have a different spike, expendable income. Working adults were able to earn more than they needed to support dependents. In 2000, Ethiopia's total consumption by dependents exceeded the income of working adults. This means the average working age Ethiopian has been focused on meeting basic family needs. If fertility rates continue to decline as projections indicate, we will see lower total consumption in relation to total income, like in Thailand. With fewer dependents to support, parents will be better able to invest in their children's health, education, and well-being. The government will also have more resources to invest in each person. The research shows that all other factors held constant, Ethiopia's demographic transition will open an opportunity for economic growth and improved quality of life.